Hello all. This video is about sequence. In this topic, we are going to look further on sequences involving arithmetic and geometric sequence and will apply it on business and economics. Firstly, we will start with sequence. A sequence is a function, where the domain is a set of consecutive positive integers beginning with 1. An infinite sequence is a function having for its domain the set of positive integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. For example, 3, 9, 27, 81, 200, and 43, and so on. On the other hand, finite sequence is a function having for its domain the set of positive integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, until reach n, for some positive integer n. An infinite sequence is often defined by stating a formula for the nth term, tn. For example, let the nth term of a sequence be t of n equals 2n. Using the sequence notation, we write this sequence as follows. As you can see here, the first three terms, the t of n term and the 15 term can be seen in the sequence. Now, we will continue with series. Series is a sum of a sequence. As you can see here, the sum of the sequence of 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on is called as a series. Series can be finite or in terminal form or infinite which is unending. You can see clearly the example of both infinite and finite series through the example. Now, we will continue with arithmetic. An arithmetic sequence is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by adding a fixed number to the previous term. The fixed number that is added is the common difference and is denoted by d. The nth element of an arithmetic sequence is given by t of n equals a plus n minus 1 multiply with d where t of n represent the nth term. a is the first term and d is the common difference. If an arithmetic sequence has first term a and a common difference d, then the corresponding arithmetic series is given by sn equal to n over 2 multiply a plus tn or sn equal to n over 2 multiply 2a plus n minus 1d. Now, we will look at geometric sequence and series. The definition of a geometric sequence focuses on a sequence, in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term, by a constant non-zero real number. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on, is an example of a geometric sequence, with first term 1 and the common ratio is 2. The general term of a geometric sequence can be seen here. Suppose a geometric sequence has first term a and common ratio r, the, the geometric sequence is, a, followed by a r, then, a r square and followed by a r cube and so on. Then, the nth term becomes a r power n minus 1. Therefore, the common ratio is r where t2 over t1 or in other word, the tn divide by t of n minus 1. Now, we will look further in geometric series. The definition is focuses on sum of n which represent the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series with first term a and common ratio r, in which r is not equal to 1, then, we got these two sum of n. Please note that for r lesser than 1, the sum of n refers to a, multiply 1 minus r power of n, then divide by 1 minus r. On the other hand, for the case of r greater than 1, the sum of n refers to a, multiply r power n minus 1 divide by r minus 1. The relationship between t of n and sum of n is given by tn equal to sn minus sn minus 1. Sum to an infinite geometric series. For the case of sum of any infinite geometric series, with the condition of modulus r is less than 1, the sum s of all the terms in the series is given by s equal to a over 1 minus r. Let's consider this example. Let's say, we are given the infinite geometric series, as shown here, the sum of the first n terms is given by sum of n which equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 n, over 1 minus 1 over 2. As n approaches infinity, the 1 over 2 n approaches 0. Then, sum of n approaches 2 which refers to sum to infinity. Now, by considering the geometric series of a, plus, a r, plus, a r square, and so on, the sum of the first n terms are given by a multiply 1 minus r n divide by 1 minus r for any r that less than 1. Now, it can be written as sn equal to a over 1 minus r minus 
a r power n over 1 minus r. If r is between negative 1 and 1, then r n approaches 0 as n approaches infinity. Therefore, sum to infinity r a over 1 minus r for modulus r lesser than 1.